This morning, experts from the World Bank presented their findings to the audience, and it was apparent that Papua New Guinea's frontline service delivery needs to be improved. The O'Neill Able government and the O'Neill Dion government before have continuously made the health sector a priority. In the 2018 budget, the sector was allocated 1.5 million kina, an increase of 14 percent from the 2017 supplementary budget. However, even with this commitment from the government, health outcomes have been poor and improvements slow. The report, Service Delivery by Health Facilities in PNG, reveals that the decline in coverage of essential health services and the high prevalence of communicable diseases like multi-drug-resistant TB reveal important weaknesses in the health system. I think the point that, um, that was made is that relative to its income level, PNG does not spend as much on health as certain other countries. So for instance, Solomon Islands, which might be a slightly a, a lower income than Papua New Guinea, spends more on health per capita or as a share of G GDP. So the point that I was making was even though PNG, the government, has committed more resources to health and is committed to improving coverage and so on, the level of public government investment in health is insufficient relative to its income level. The World Bank remains very committed to supporting the government in uh, making sh sure that they can improve coverage because the ultimate outcome of interest for all of us is better health, health outcomes for the people of Papua New Guinea. So we will continue to work with the government in helping them improve the way in which services are provided. The reasons as to why the outcome has been poor varies from a lack of trained health managers at health facilities to policies from Waigani being passed at a national level and not implemented at subnational levels. This will need to be remedied because while PNG has transitioned from low income to low middle income status, donors who represent a significant source of funding to the health sector are reducing financial support to Papua New Guinea. The Anjarari National MTV News.